Hey, welcome to the garage studio here at Everyday Reviews. It's kind of messy because this is a working set right now. Everything here is being powered right now by what we're reviewing, and that is the brand new Bluetti AC200L solar generator, AKA big, big power bank. Below here is the AC200P, which we've been using extensively for over a year and it's become invaluable. But when they came out with this, I'm gonna tell you, there are some features here that are going to really, really appeal to a lot of people, including myself. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before we get into the details of this new 200L, let's just talk about power generators, solar generators in general. What are people using them for? Well, there are a couple obvious reasons. Number one is for power outages. Power out, guess what? Use this to get your router going because a lot of people are working from home now. Get your router going, power your computer, power your devices. Um, you can even power your microwave to, to cook food on. That's highly recommended when there's a power outage because uh, microwaves actually cook very quick. So it's actually conserves power like that. Also camping, of course, RVing. If you have an RV or a tent trailer, perfect uh, use for that. Picnics, tailgating. Imagine going to tailgate, bring one of these along and you could also bring some expansion packs. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Power your big screen, your, your patio lights, your audio system. Do it all in the middle of nowhere. There are also things that people don't think about if you're an event planner or you work for a company, you do trade shows. Hey, you bring one of these, you pull it in a wagon, that's what I do, and it can power your whole display uh, often. And you can save a lot of money because some of these convention centers charge a lot of money to bring you extension cord of power. So that's one thing. Also another big plus, you know, uh, I have a small one, but my brother has a pretty big aquarium and with a lot of expensive fish. If there is a power outage there, this is going to save you a ton of money and a lot of headache uh, by basically keeping your fish alive. And so that's a good reason. If you have a lot of money invested in your tank and fish, you should be getting one of these just for your tank alone, regardless of anything else for sure. So uh, what have I been using it for? Of course, outdoor events, things like that. But I use this as a full production power unit. I put it into my Costco cart, I roll it to my, uh, my shoots that I have, and even though I'm usually not in remote areas, if I'm in a building and I don't want to run a cable across the floor where there's a lot of foot traffic, I just have this close by my lights, for instance, and I can power everything right there. Everyone's always impressed. A lot of times clients will even plug in their devices into it as well because it has a lot of power. So this one below, the AC tuner P was good for 2000 watts. This one here, the 200L is good for 2400 watts and it has a 2000 48 watt hour capacity on it. So it is more powerful than the one below, but there's a lot more to it as well. So, so far, just to give you an idea, right now, the lights that you, that are lighting me right now is what I would use in a little typical setup. Uh, I have a 200 watt light to my right. I have a 100 watt light to my left. Uh, I'm powering a uh, iPad Pro, iPhone, 15 uh, Max Pro. I'm charging two Sony batteries here at the same time. This is all by USB and the light to my left is a 100 watt USB light uh, as well. On the AC side, that's our 200 watt light. We are uh, charging up some Eagle batteries for the snow blower. I'm charging up my scooter as well. And yeah, it's doing it all from this 200L. So let's get into some of the new features on this 200L. Number one, and I said this on my last review of the 200P, 
The display on that one was so hard to read. Well, it is hard to read, it's not was. It is hard to read. You basically have to go right down to the level of the screen in order to see it. Uh, this one is so much easier to read. Also, this one here is not a touch screen. The one below is a touch screen. So a lot of times you basically have to go way down and then if you want to turn your AC on or your DC on, you have to touch that screen to activate it. Now, what they've done, not touch screen, but you actually have hard buttons here, as you can see. So you have your AC, DC, uh, and your USB, if I hit DC. So there you go, it's gonna light up and that's it. So there's no guessing around, or I don't have to like, okay. But the display is so much easier to read. You have this round gauge, uh, basically showing you how much uh, battery capacity you have left. And down below that, I like here, it has a number, 4.9. So it's basically generating a, a, a guesstimate for you. If I'm going to continue using the load that I am right now, continuously, it is going to last me 5.1 hours. And that's nice to know. It's like there's no, it's basically doing the calculation for you. So absolutely love that. Also new is this has uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So if you open up the Blue Eddy app that you download and you pair it with it, there it is right there. I'll just put an image there so you can see it a little bit closer. And that's going to give you your inputs and your outputs as well. So currently right now we are uh, rolling 99 watts uh, out into the DC or the USB and 211 watts on the AC. And with this app though, there's so much more you can do and you can do this remotely. So I can control this 200L from anywhere that I want. Speaking of charging, this one can charge up to 2400 watts. So you can charge this fully in an hour and a half, as quick as an hour and a half. There are different charge settings. You can go uh, turbo speed and you can go a silent speed. Of course, silent's gonna take longer, but if you're not in a hurry, go to the silent because just like any battery, the faster you charge them, it's a little bit harder on the battery. If you want more longevity, then go for the slower charge, but it is capable. On turbo, this can go to 80% charge in 45 minutes 45 minutes that's insane that's like dc fast charging speeds for electric car it's 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 crazy then if you go into solar if you have some panels they've upped that from 700 watts of input on the 200p this one's 1200 watts uh, and you can combine, you can go both DC and AC in if you want, uh, if you have that capability. And once again, like an hour and a half, so, so quick. Now, if 2,048 watt hours is not enough for you, you can expand it with their expansion batteries. You have the B210, the 230, and the new B300 series. And if you stack them up, put them in, uh, hook them up into the inputs there, you can get up to uh, four, six, or 8,000 watt hours, 80, almost 8,200 uh, watt hours, so 8.2 kilowatts of power at your disposal. So if you're maybe you know using this really as a, a backup, maybe you have a cottage somewhere that has no electricity, maybe RVing and you're, and you know, or you're just living off the grid and you're in your, um, in your van or something like that, lots of power there. Now the best thing of the Blue Eddy devices is what is inside here. Along with an, an incredible battery management system, they use lithium iron phosphate batteries instead of just lithium ion. And the advantage of that, first of all, they are a little heavier, but they are so much more durable, uh, better for, for colder uses, extreme temperatures, but this is uh, rated for over 3,000 cycles. If you look at the competitors out there not using those batteries, like they're using lithium ion, we're talking 500, 700, or maybe 1,000 cycles. So this is going to last you three times as long as some of the competitors out there. And you're looking at a lower price than what the competition is. So if you use this every single day for 10 years, 
That's how long 3000 cycles is. And that's just to 80% retention of your battery capacity. Your battery would still work. Like this could be the last solar generator that you really need to buy. It's incredible. And they've got some really, really exciting stuff coming out down the pipe, which we are going to talk about uh, near the end of this video. There are some differences in inputs and outputs on this 200L. Uh, so let's just start over on the left side here. Okay, you have your outputs, you have your DC output. This is your 12 volt, like a cigarette lighter input. And then down below, you have a 48 volt hookup here uh, for your uh, output. Now, I don't have anything with 48 volts, but this would be really good for maybe some future items. Uh, then we have our USBs here. So we have two USB-Cs and two USB-As. On the older version, on the P, we actually only had one USB-C, but we had four USB-As. I like this better because the, the type C is more common now, but the best thing is both of these type C's are 100 watts. On the one below, it was only 60 watts and where it's really handy for me is because I'm just gonna swing over here. This light, all right, can you see? I'm just gonna, this light here is a 100 watt light and it has a battery to it, but I took the battery off. And what I love about this is with the battery, it's quite heavy, but without the battery, it's super, super handy and light. I can bring it anywhere and I just, have to actually just use a 100 watt capable USB type C cable. And right now we're at 69% and I can go all the way to 100 watts on here and run it right from here. So let's just put this back here. And yeah, you know, I can just, I can move this anywhere and it's just, it's light, light, light. All right, so I'm really excited about that as you can tell. <laughs> I don't know where, hopefully that's in the right spot there. All right, get, coming back. Okay, we have our four uh, regular 120 volt plugs here. They're 20 amps. And over on the right side, we have the large TT type of connection right there. And that is gonna be for your travel trailers, your RVs. And now to the side, we have some different inputs. Okay, we have our battery expansion. We talked about that. Uh, we have also have our circuit protector. We have a ground and we have our two uh, inputs, one for DC, one for AC. DC, we could use that for our solar panels. You do, it does come with the cables for that. So if you want to put your solar panels up to 1200 watts directly in there and the AC as well. And they're nice threaded on caps. Now this, along with the 100 watt uh, type C, have me really excited because this is the power brick for the 200P. Okay, it's big, it's heavy, it's bulky. Nothing wrong with that because a lot of times it just stays at home and just kind of right by my workstation anyways. But if you're traveling and you're moving around and you don't want to have something this big, this is the new cable for the 200L. This or this? You make the choice. So now there is no brick. You just have a plug. Push that in, screw that on, plug it in. If you wanna go at 80% in 45 minutes, turn on your turbo through the app. So 2,400 watts, that can power pretty well 99% of everything in your household. We're, we are talking, you know, if you want to have a block party, go down to the street and put your deep fryer on here, which I really plan to do, because um, my deep fryer is 1,800 watts, it'll do it. You're camping, you have a blow dryer, even one of those fancy Dyson ones that, that crank out a lot of heat and, you know, they're very powerful, it'll do it. This also has a power lift feature, which you can activate through the app. And what that's for, if you're using resistive types of devices, like things that for heating, 
Um, so you could have like a hot plate or um, a heater or a heated blanket. This will increase the wattage up to 3,600 watts uh, for those type of devices. Uh, it's not for air conditioners, by the way. This also has a 7,200 watt power surge. So if you're using something that's really power hungry, just for like, you know, like just a split second at the start, it'll handle it. Uh, if it's any longer than that, for instance, though, it will actually not allow it to happen. It'll protect itself in order to, to not damage the battery. And that's a good thing. But yeah, for most things, this thing is going to handle it. The 200L is also quieter than its predecessors. And yeah, this has actually come on since I've been actually presenting and talking about this. I'm not sure if you've heard it or not. It is fairly quiet. Uh, another great feature, brand new, is this has the UPS feature. That's the uninterrupted power uh, source feature. So if you are doing some really highly de delicate work of some sort and you, you can't risk losing power, you plug this, plug your device into here, have this plugged in, and just like any UPS, if the power goes out, this will kick on in less than 20 milliseconds, boom, and it's going to just revert right to there. But not only that, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty involved. There are different UPS settings. So if you want to go and schedule when your power station is used, you can do that as well. For instance, if you live in an area where, uh, where you know, on the pulling off the grid, in the middle of the night is cheaper than during the day, you can set this to use this during the day, let's say for your computer station, for instance, and on off-peak hours, it's going to take from the grid. So during the day, you're using this, and that's actually going to save you money. I never really even thought about that, though, but it does make sense. One of the things that I've enjoyed on the 200P, and I'm sure they've extended to the 200L because they, they both have a very similar form factor, it's a build quality. Like it really feels solid, not just because it's over 60 pounds, but just everything about it, the buttons, um, all the flaps, the quality of the rubber that they've used on the flaps, uh, and even on the cables, you can tell it's very good. And I've been using the P for over a year and, and it's, it's taken a lot of abuse. It gets thrown in the back of vans and cars and wagons constantly all the time. Uh, and um, yeah, it it's gets scuffed up and it's handled it really, really well. So um, yeah, uh, talking about handles, love how recessed the handles are. Very, very natural to grab it, whether you're doing it by yourself or one person on each end. Also, they're big enough that if you wanna anchor this down in a vehicle, for instance, you can put your tie uh, downs through there and through the other side and hook that in. And I highly recommend that if you are you know, carrying this around for a long period of time, especially, uh, or maybe you're, you're four by four and you know, it's going to be bumpy, anchor that down because you don't want something this big and heavy flying around not just because it's uh, going to be expensive if it breaks but it's not safe either so there is something missing here on the 200l that the 200p does have and that is there are no wireless charging pads here you get two of them on the p if that's important to you well you can go for the p they still sell that but for me i really never use them because on my phone, I run a wallet, uh, and I find sometimes with wireless charging, it's kind of, you know, like it has to be in the exact spot and everything else like this. I, I just find wired is faster, especially with 100 watts. Uh, so it's a, it's a trade-off that I'm definitely willing to give up for sure to get those two Type Cs. Um, so, anyways, that's our look at the Blue Eddy AC200L. It's brand new. It's got everything that you could possibly want. It's good for 10 years plus. By the way, there's also a five-year warranty on this uh, solar generator as well. Uh, if you're interested in one of these, I'll leave a link in the video description as well. If there are any discount codes, I'll leave them down there as well because we all like to save some money, right? Also, coming down the pipe really, really soon, Blue Eddy has some exciting stuff. They have something called Swap Solar. So it's a solar generator with removable batteries. 
It doesn't have quite the capability as this big boy does, but you can get it with a fridge, freezer, ice maker combo, which you can take the battery out. You can hot swap the batteries in this generator as well. So that's really neat. And yeah, so it'll make ice cubes and it'll keep everything cold. Perfect for me. A lot of times I see ice cream on sale or something like that. I love ice cream, by the way. And um, I can't buy it because I can't go home right away. I have other things to do. With this fridge freezer combo, I'll be able to throw it in the car, self-contain, put my ice cream in there or whatever you have, do my stuff and come home at night and everything will still be frosty, frosty cold, put it in the freezer, transfer it. And yeah, that's gonna be a game changer. I'm telling you, real game changer. I can't wait for that. So anyways, um, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you wanna see more material from Everyday Reviews. So until next time, see ya.